सो टूडे टॉपिक इज स्पेसिएशन द प्रोसेस स्पेसिएशन मीन्स फॉर्मेशन और रीजन ऑफ न्यू स्पीशीज विच मीन्स दैट एवरी न्यू स्पीशी इज बॉर्न थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ एवोल्यूशन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एवोल्यूशन माइक्रो एवोल्यूशन एंड माइक्रो एवोल्यूशन माइक्रो एवोल्यूशन अकर्स एट रेलिटिवली शॉर्ट टाइम और शॉर्ट टर्म चेंजेस इन एल ई फ्रिक्वेंसीज विद इन अ पॉपुलेशन और स्पीशीज like if there are some genetic changes that occur in the population of dog and we get different breeds of dog which is the same population of the same organism but due to slight variation in the genetic changes uh, uh, it gives us different breeds of dog maybe they have different uh, fur color they have different eye color or they have different um, uh, small different features that uh, differentiate them and they are converted into different breeds so this is the example of micro evolution but macro evolution occurs at the larger scale for over a longer period of time for example if i say that fish uh, evolves into class amphibia and class amphibia evolves into class reptiles and reptiles evolve into mammals then this is the example of macro evolution that um, a huge group of uh, organisms are evolving from one class of organism to another class of organism over a large period of time so this is macro evolution so a linear splitting event that produces two or more separate species is known as speciation so this is the picture if you can see in my pointer this is the picture showing a phylogenetic tree that this is an ancestral root from which a lineage is splitting into two or three um new species so the lineage or the branch splitting into two or three uh, new species is an example of speciation as we can see that these are all the house flies or um uh, they belong to same genus the d shows that they belong to same genus but they have different species because they have slight variation um, on genetic level that differentiate them into different species so there are three different species of the house flies and they are all belonging to the same ancestors so this is uh, the process of speciation this is how we represent uh, speciation on phylogenetic tree so what is the biological definition of a species a group of population whose members have the potential to interbreed in nature and produce viable fertile offsprings but do not produce viable offspring with members of other organisms so this is the very important um, definition of species that organisms must interbreed with one another with organisms of the same species they cannot interbreed with the organism from another species or other population otherwise they will produce infertile offspring they will produce non viable offspring so um for fulfilling the basic definition of species an organism must interbreed with the same species and produce a viable offspring so there are few factors that um, um hinders uh, the uh, the fertilization process of two different species uh, and these two um factors are known as isolating mechanism one is geographic isolating mechanism and the second one is reproductive isolating mechanism then uh, we have two different types of reproductive isolation mechanism one is prezygotic barriers which shows that the barriers or the uh, or any factors that hinders um the species fertilization process or block fertilization from happening it prevents different species from attempting to mate it prevents an attempting mate mating from being successful so basically it hinders the process of fertilization the subtype the second subtype is known as post zygotic barriers which means that now the fertilization has occurred successfully but the zygote form has some abnormalities it has some developmental errors uh, it has some birth defects Uh, which may eventually cause death of the organism or uh, the offspring produced is infertile it cannot reproduce further talking about the first main isolating uh, mechanism uh, reproductive isolating mechanism which is basically the prezygotic barriers 
these are the few examples geographic isolation ecological isolation temporal isolation behavioral me mechanical and geometric isolation so let me explain them in detail what do we mean by geographic isolation when we say that the species which belong to the same population but due to geographic isolation that they are place at two different geographic uh, regions due to which they cannot encounter with each other and they cannot interpret with each other to fertilize or to produce new species um, this is known as geographic isolation okay so uh, here uh, is the example of squirrel the two squirrels were present at the same uh, region of the country but due to some geographic isolation um, or any barrier they are separated from one another and after some time we will see that th uh, those um, squirrels which belong to the same species are now converted or they are uh, developed into two new species of squirrels so this is due to geographic isolation the second one is ecological isolation it shows that the organism belong to different ecological habitats um, are reproductively isolated that they cannot reproduce because they live in different habitats so the, there is an example of uh, garter snake one lives in um, water and the other lives in terrestrial environment or land so because they have different habitat they do not encounter with one and other and after some time they will be converted into different two different species maybe their parents have uh, the one common species but after some time due to different ecological habitat they have converted into two new species of garter uh, snake the third one is temporal isolation it happens when the organisms um, adapt different breathing uh, different breeding um, seasons like the example is eastern spotted skunk one is the western and the other is the eastern spotted skunk so uh, eastern uh, skunks mate in late winters whereas western mates in late summer so due to different breeding season they do not uh, interbreed with one another and after some time they are reproductively isolated and they are converted into two different species of uh, spotted skunks then the fourth one is behavioral isolation we know that the organism before interbreeding show some behavioral uh, patterns or rituals uh, to attract their um, opposite gender so this is another reproductive isolation that blue fitted boobies mate only after courtship display unique to their species. Then the uh, fifth one is mechanical isolation that the plants sometimes uh, face some morphological differences that prevents them from successful mating. Even in closely related species of plants, the flowers often have distinct appearances that attract different pollinators. These two species of monkey flower differ greatly in shape and color, therefore cross-pollination does not happen. So um, this is another um, factor which gives rise to two different species of flowers. Then the last one is geometric isolation. Um, sperms of one species may not be able to fertilize eggs of another species. This is specifically for marine uh, organism uh, it uh, applies to all the fish because they live in the aquatic uh, environment and they release the sperm and egg in the same environment so um, the sperms are highly particular about the egg that uh, even if the sea urchin releases sperm and eggs in the surrounding water only the red um, sperms will uh, fertilize the red eggs and the purple sperms will fertilize the purple eggs um, they will not cross fertilize each other so this is how they are converted into two different species that the red will fuse with the red to produce the red urchins and the purple will fuse with the purple urchin to produce the second type of uh, sea urchin which is the purple one this is again the explanation of uh, the same uh, six types of prezygotic reproductive isolating barriers that I just explained. Then comes the post-reproductive barriers. Post-reproductive barriers means that now the fertilization has occurred but the offspring which it produces uh, will face some chromosomal abnormalities or some um, birth defect or it will eventually break down, it will eventually die. So um, it prevents hybrid offspring from developing into viable fertile 
adult viable means that they cannot survive they are not the normal individuals so they will not survive longer and they will eventually die it reduces the viability of the offspring that is produced so the offspring is known as hybrid because uh, two different species have interbreed and uh, the resultant organism is known as the hybrid so the hybrid will have the reduced viability it will has the reduced fertility and the hybrid will eventually break down or it will eventually die so first example is the reduced hybrid viability uh, it shows that the genes of different parent species may interact but they impair the hybrid's development. Example uh, of Slamander is mentioned here that uh, they may interbreed, but most hybrids do not complete developmental stages and uh, they, they uh, develop some chromosomal abnormalities due to which the fetus uh, uh, which is born is dead. The second one is reduced hybrid fertility. We know that um, horse and donkeys are uh, artificially uh, fertilized and the, uh, the product we get is known as mules. So mules are infertile organisms that they cannot reproduce further because they have chromosomal abnormalities because they belong to two different species so they are uh, this is against the nature because we are interpreting two different organisms belonging to two different genus uh, one is uh, belongs to horse and the other belongs to uh, donkey and when we artificially fertilize both species the resultant uh, hybrid uh, is not um, viable and it is not uh, fertile and the third one is hybrid breakdown that the hybrid will eventually break down and the common example is uh, um, strains of cultivated rice hybrids are uh, vigorous ev uh, initially but plants in the next generation are small and sterile so why would these species even hybridize in the first place there is no reason to so eventually what will happen that after one or two generations of um, these uh, rice crop they will eventually die out now uh, there comes four different types of speciation allopatric peripatric parapatric and sympatric that how species originated there are four different types of uh, speciation process first one is allopatric speciation allo means uh, geographic and patric means different when the species are geographically isolated or geographically different they are converted into two new different species so gene flow is interrupted when a population is divided into geographically isolated subpopulation as we can see in the image that all uh, the fish are of the same color because they are living in the same aquatic region but then there is uh, some geographic isolation that we have created in their habitat uh, and um, after few generations they will be converted into two new uh, types of uh, species one is the blue one and the other is the orange one this is because of the genetic variations that occurs due to uh, this geographic isolation this is the geographic isolation if you see my pointer this is the geographic isolation or the barrier which is hindering the left and the right population to mate with each other so what will happen uh, that uh, the left uh, the left geographic population will interbreed with only the population uh, present in the left region and the right one will interbreed with the population present in the right uh, aquatic habitat so eventually they will produce two new uh, species the second one is peripatric peripatric means a small subset of large population becomes isolated at the border or at the periphery of the original uh, populations range over different generations the small group becomes reproductively isolated from the parent population so as you can see in the image that uh, they were once all the uh, same uh, uh, species of organism they were all of the green color but after some time a small subset of uh, this population is re reproductively isolated uh, from the parent population and they are um, evolved into a new species of uh, the organisms so this is known as peripatric speciation in which uh, one subset from the periphery or the border of the original population is isolated rep uh, reproductively and they're evolved into a new species then comes the parapatric speciation so the common example is that the two different species of sparrows one living in the eastern side of the country and one living in the western side of the country overlap in a hybrid zone 
that there is a border region which in which both the species can interbreed with one another so it is known as parapetric speciation if we say that um, uh, there is one species of um, sparrow that lives in india and one species of sparrow that lives in pakistan and there is a border region which is joining uh, in this region uh, the indian population of that uh, breed and the pakistan population of that breed so this hybrid zone will allow those uh, birds to hybrid with one another or uh, to to interbreed with one another and to produce the hybrid so this is known as parapetric speciation that adjacent po uh, populations evolve into distinct species while maintaining contact along a common border so that's the common border area if you can see my pointer uh, there's a common border border area which is uh, allowing the two different species from two different countries to overlap and to interbreed with one another and to produce the hybrid uh, the third type of the new type of species this one is the last uh, type of speciation which is known as sympatric sympatric uh, speciation occurs in population that live in the same geographical area uh, but due to some mutations uh, there is some chromosomal abnormality uh, in them which produces a new species of organism like if you say there are two different types of flower population uh, and uh, due to some chromosomal abnormality uh, they have the tetraploidy uh, they have four set of chromosomes and what will happen that the normal two set of chromosomes in one flower and the abnormal four set of chromosomes in another, another flower when they will fertilize with one another interbreed the resultant um, organism will have the abnormal number of chromosomal sets so uh, with this abnormal uh, chromosomal set they will produce a new variety of uh, flower or a new species so this image shows how the four types of speciation happens one is allopatric it shows that the geographic uh, they are geographically isolated their geographic region or their land is divided into two due to which a new species uh, arise or originate then comes peripatric which shows that a small subset uh, from the same big population uh, is reproductively isolated and it with the passage of time is converted into a new species parapatric shows that there are two different species one living in uh, one side of the country or one um, is living in uh, you know um, one side of um, you you can say that they are living in the western region and the other one is living in the eastern region of the country and there is a common border between these two species which allows both the organisms of the species to fertilize or interbreed with one another and eventually they will produce a new species and sympatric shows that within the same population if you can see my point pointer sympatric shows that within the same population uh, due to polyploidy or the abnormal number of uh, chromosomes a new species will originate after some time now comes uh, the subtopic extinction and endangered species what is the difference between extinction and endangered species the disappearance of every individual of a species from the entire planet is known as extinction and the common example is the dinosaurs and the endangered species are those species which are at the risk of near extinction and the example is puma and the golden eagle so what are the major causes of uh, extinction of an organism or this extinction of the um, of the species um, they are due to some man-made uh, factors deforestation or habitat loss hunting over exploitation of uh, the species introduction of exotic species in the native species global warming or even some disease epidemics so uh, deforestation leads to loss of habitat for several animal species hunting is another major cause of extinction over exploitation um, for you know um, for getting the items like tiger skin tiger bones or uh, rhinoceros horns so over exploitation of uh, these species leads to their extinction then is exotic species introduction into the native place uh, of the species it also uh, extincts the native species then global warming also affect the um, organisms and it 
it can even leads to the extinction of few species and in the end disease or epidemics can even cause the extinction of the uh, entire species thank you very much